Hi, how are you? I'm Mr. Moso. Today we want to talk about European history. We want to talk about the 1791 Constitution. Here is our question. To what extent did the 1791 Constitution fulfill the ideals of the French Revolution? So that is our question for today. So here now we are supposed to identify the keywords. So our keywords are to what extent 1791 constitution fulfillment ideals French revolution so we talk about three important aspects that were in the 1791 constitution which were these number one we talk about the august decreases we talk about number two the rights of men and citizens number three we talk about the civil constitution of the clergy if we combine these if we were engaged at these we come up with the 1791 a constitution so what are we saying? So we are saying that the August decreases, they fulfilled the ideals of the French out uh, revolutionaries. Why? People were now in a position of voting, federalism was abolished, freedom of expression. So that fulfilled the expectations of the people. You move on, you talk about the rights of men. Did that fulfill the, uh, the, 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 what, the ideals of the French revolution? Yes, people were now having rights, rights to say no, 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 rights to say they, they, they. So that fulfilled the expectations of the French our revolutionaries. You talk about the civil constitution of the clergy. Yes, how land was given to the people, education was given to the what to the clergy. That fulfilled the expectations of the revolutionaries. Clergy were now paid by the people, by sorry, by the state. Then on the other side of the question, now we now talk about abolishment of tithes. You now talk about people choosing the members of the revolutionaries, the, the members of what of the clergy. They overreacted on that then you move on you also talk about the issue of the members of the clergy now being answerable to the revolutionaries they overreacted so the other side of the question now we give a critique on what took place on the civil constitution of the clergy especially on the payment of tithe appointment of people are in the church the revolutionaries overreacted so that on its own fulfilled to a lesser extent so that is what we have on this question thank you